now it is check my check my check check <laughs> all right now it's audible yeah all right now usually happens guys always happens great so guys again a very warm welcome to my session uh, i hope all of you guys are having a super amazing day and by the way i hope all of you had a very good weekend a long weekend okay let me know what you guys did in the chat right below and also not just that guys today's session is going to be super crazy because we are back with the amazing chapter winds storms and cyclone now this is the second session of this chapter and today we'll be completing it so make sure that you all are ready and also do not forget that we have a week quiz by the end of this session so get ready okay what's up hi alima hi soma hi asp music hi smart hi krishna thank you krishna hi reba hi nasir hi dia hi 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 so big hi to all of you so shall we start with the session right away i can't wait to start the class hi ankita okay your ankita not so much acha nice <laughs> great so before that if you guys are on instagram do not forget to follow me on instagram it is learn underscore with underscore mohan for what because you get to know all the updates there you can interact with me there is question and answers uh, you know interactions going there you can always ask me okay so if you have instagram you can follow me there please make me your friend definitely follow me on my instagram handle okay now let's go forward guys the first thing we'll understand is in the previous class we discussed about thunderstorms and i hope you guys all understand understood what thunderstorms were anyways let me give you a quick recap and go for cyclone as well okay yes great great so let's go to our whiteboard all right so what did we discuss in the case of thunderstorms let's have a look so first of all we all know on a sunny day on a sunny day due to sun's heat all the air becomes very hot and we all know that hot air evaporate right so due to hot weather the air also becomes hot and hot air rises up so what is happening there is a strong upwards wind strong upwards wind okay what will happen guys all of these okay you want guddu back guddu is also standing here he is watching <laughs> all right now we all know that this air also contains what this air also contains water vapor so as we know as the altitude increases it becomes very cool they all start forming clouds and then they start falling down as rains <laughs> all right they start falling as rain now we have guddu again standing here he is carrying an umbrella also okay guddu is carrying an umbrella this is not guddu this is guddu's friend <laughs> all right now what is happening guys now here on one side you have strong upwards wind on the other side we have rain falling down due to this vigorous movement since there is a lot of movement happening right here what will happen thunderstorms will happen okay lightning will strike dish 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 dish, dish, dish. okay so lightning will strike thunderstorms will happen there will be heavy rain all right and guddu will be like rest in peace bro <laughs> because lightnings can be very very powerful or this we can call it as thunderstorms and thunderstorms are likely to develop in which areas in hot and humid weather in hot and humid climatic areas is where we can have thunderstorms got it this chapter is completed in vedantu i know i know i know it's completed in pro courses great amazing amazing so it's very scary right this is how it happens now when we move on to cyclones what happens in cyclones sir you can ask me okay same on a very hot day all the water vapor rise up listen to me very carefully cyclones and we all know they all start forming clouds 
But before they start forming clouds, guys, always remember whenever evaporation has to happen, the water absorbs heat. If the water has to become into water vapor, heat is absorbed. But if water vapor has to again become water, what will happen? Tell me, guys, in the chat box. What will happen if water vapor has to become, uh, you know, uh, water again? What happens to the heat? What happens to the heat? Heat is absorbed when water becomes water vapor. When water vapor again becomes water, heat is thrown out. What is happening? Heat is released. Heat is released in all the directions. Because why? Because water vapor is again becoming into water, no? Due to condensation. Heat is absorbed in evaporation. In condensation, heat is given out. Now, since heat is given out in the air, in the atmosphere, what will happen to all the... Come on. Out of a sudden, my pen is not working. Just a second, guys. Oops, oops, gone, it's all gone. Okay, so when all the heat is released in the atmosphere, what will happen? When all the heat is released in the atmosphere, the air in the atmosphere also becomes hot. What happens to hot air? What happens to hot air, guys? Hot air raises up, right? Now, since all the air is raising up, what will be the pressure at this area? What will be the pressure at this area? Whenever there are high speed winds, what is the pressure guys? Whenever there are high speed winds, there will definitely be a low pressure system guys. High speed winds are always accompanied by reduced air pressure. Okay. So now what will happen? The cool air from all the places. The cool air from all the places. What is it? Cool air. They all start to come around and they go around or they rotate this low pressure system. And this is how cyclone is created. Got it? Simple? Yes. Now, when we go to cyclone, check this out. Okay. This is how it look from space guys. See how, how crazy it looks from space. This is how it looks. Okay. So we can see it through satellites and we can predict, we can tell the people, okay, cyclone is coming. Be careful because it's so huge that you can see from space. All right. Next one. Now let's talk about the structure of cyclone. Cyclone has an eye in the center. Okay. The eye is the middle part where there is very low pressure. Very low pressure, calm area, there are no clouds also. But around the eye, the diameter of the eye, right, its diameter ranges from 10 to 100 kilometers, this entire diameter. Okay, now eye wall, the entire wall, it's a dense cloud surrounding the eye having maximum wind speed. Wind speed is super high. If you go stand there, you will fly off. Trees fall, cars are thrown away. It's that powerful. Okay. It causes maximum destruction. Now, what kind of destruction look at on the, look at this, uh, you know, screen. It causes massive destruction to life and property. Everything is thrown away. Everything is thrown away, right? Exactly. These and, and also cyclones create floods too, because, because of this low pressure system, the ocean also raises up guys. The ocean also raises up and it causes floods. When these waves hit the shore, it results in destruction of life and property to a very great extent. If salt water enters into the land, the land will also become very less fertile. No, you can't grow plants there. All right. So floods can appear if rainfall continues for a long duration. All of that cases can happen. 
what are few of the precautions that you all should follow during cyclone first thing fill bucket sinks and baths with water just in case the water supply becomes restricted gather everyone indoors including any pets stay away from the doors windows and exterior walls because walls might also collapse turn off all the electricity gas and water and unplug all the appliances this is all during the exactly during the cyclone okay so if you are living near a cyclone hit area get ready always look out for you know uh, emergency alerts shut all the external doors gather family review your evacuation plan see how you're going to escape right keep all the emergency kit ready collapse means it, it would fall down beta yes turn off the gas electricity and unplug all the appliances move people out people and uh, pets to strongest part of the house okay so follow evacuation plan head to the nearest emergency shelter very very important it's white cause of the cloud yes it's white cause of the clouds don't attempt to take your car and drive in the water it's not safe not go in the bike also stay indoors and wait for help okay don't become uh, you know a superhero i'm like i'm going to drive my car no <laughs> can't take pets leave them untied in laundry or bathroom with food and water okay now role of technology as i told you we have so much technology right now that it is possible for us to predict when the cyclone is going to hit certain places so that necessary precautions can be taken okay so people uh, government can tell you that hey dude do not go to the ocean today in 24 hours there is going to be a cyclone so they can give us those alerts and we can be prepared okay now what about tornadoes tornadoes can be even more powerful guys it uproots trees electric poles telephone poles it disrupts power supply and telecommunications everything it's super super destructive it lifts people vehicles off the ground hurts them hundreds of meter away this may lead to the death of people and damage the vehicles also guys when we talk about cyclones no they are huge the wind speeds will be from 150 to 200 ish whereas cyclones the wind speeds can exceed 300 it is super super powerful okay yes precautions again to protect yourself from tornadoes one should take shelter in the underground room with no windows if in a room with windows one should close them and hide under a table or a workbench one should bow down on knees protecting their neck head using their arms because it's all vital right there are tornado surface it is the most dangerous job yes yes there are people who who go behind tornadoes their job is to film the tornadoes yes yes right okay so before we go for the week quiz guys let's go through what all we have discussed in today's or in this entire chapter all right are you all ready hi aditya beta hello are you all ready you all ready you all ready let's go through the entire thing what we discussed yes yes so why is odisha a cyclone prone yeah guys see all of the eastern coast right the, the the cities towards bay of bengal they are very prone to cyclones okay yes yes that is where you have most of the cyclones happening hi simrat okay guys you also have a week quiz so get ready so guys first of all in this chapter we discussed that properties of air we saw that air exerts pressure right we saw the example of riding bicycle in the wind flying kite in the wind all of those were examples of air exerts pressure air also expands on heating whenever you heat the air it expands and after it expands it becomes lighter so it raises up then we talk about wind wind the moving air is called as wind whenever there is high speed winds there is always very low pressure and how do you measure the wind speed by using anemometer and due to this wind currents it is generated due to uneven heating of earth so different parts of the earth gets heated differently for example the equator gets very hot polar is very cool hot air from the equator goes to the polar regions cool air from the polar regions come to the equator that's what we saw 
great then we talked about thunderstorms cyclones and tornadoes and their safety measures also that's what we discussed <laughs> air expands on heating and contracts on cooling yes yes correct beta correct anemometer is the one which is used to measure the wind speed beta it rotates and we can measure the wind speed using it okay understood guys everybody cool let's go for the quiz right now yes so quick week quiz for everybody let's let's have a look at it okay let's have a look at your week quiz all right so where can you find your week quiz you can find your week quiz here so click here so right after completing this class make sure that you guys click on this week quiz and get to know how much you have learned in today's session so everybody attempt it it will be like this once you click on the week quiz yes you can take up the quiz enter the quiz there are four questions easy questions solve it let me see who is going to be there on top of the leaderboard okay yes 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 all right guys also if you guys want to check out vedantu's courses definitely you can check out all of this for for you guys that is grade 7 cbsc for entire year for one year of academic courses for three subjects your math english and science you are getting it for just 8100 guys it is not just classes you have live in class doubt solving quizzes and leaderboard uh, assignments and class notes all india test series study materials everything along with vedantu improvement promise that is by the end of the year if you guys do not get uh, any improvement if your marks are not increasing get the entire money back that is vedantu's promise and guys trust me it is just for 8100 for one year only few seats are left all you have to do is click on buy now use my coupon code mkpro to get 10% off and take up the course all right Yes but if you guys are still confused about taking up the course entire course you can always go for trial version click on try for 15 days for just 450 you can try for 15 days for three subjects guys okay so show this entire website to your parents ask them to check it out you guys tell them how amazing vedantu is there are faqs also you can check it out make sure to take up the next next batch as soon as possible i want to see you all in my batch Okay so i hope all of you guys had fun do not forget to take up the uh, you know week quiz right below the video right and we will definitely meet up in the coming class and also don't forget to hit on the subscribe button like share and comment on this video so until then pro course price i just told you alima it's 8100 for one year that is your pro course price okay rahi will do will do rahi will do All right so yep i hope all of you guys had fun we'll meet in the next class so until then this is me mohan signing off all of you take care stay safe stay as lovely as always you guys sir bye bye guys take care